these two shots by uh, Strizig and Sievers are quite important and nostalgic to me because I went to school with Wolfgang's son, Anders, and um, as a consequence I spent a lot of time talking to Wolfgang as a student um, back in high school and uh, occasionally he would even come to our school to photograph the, uh, the hall and things like that. So I've had a, a very long association until the day he died with Wolfgang and Mark Strizzi printed my first ever exhibition that I had shot in New Guinea and um, of course that's at the, the famous Robin Boyd house that I'm also very familiar with. So it's just fantastic to come and see the work that both of these old friends were uh, doing while I was still a student and both of them um, very influential in pointing me into uh, being an architectural photographer. I sort of um, fell heir to the mantle, I guess, and, until um, recent times when there's just so much competition, it's not funny because everyone wants to be an architectural photographer. The one that they thought was easy and they saw me getting a lot of publicity from uh, was to photograph buildings, which everyone thinks must be a pushover compared to anything else because the building just sits there and all you have to do is walk up to it and photograph it. Is it easy? I uh, wish it was that easy. I think photographing buildings is about as hard as photographing a nude. You have to subjugate your ego to that of the architect. Mm -hmm. It's people don't want to look and see a photograph that's full of photographic artefacts, they want to look at the architecture and it really should be as clean as possible. It's not about the photographer then, it's about the architecture. No, and that's very hard to teach. Um, they think they have to show off their own skill, but in fact they're really just demonstrating the architect's skill. Yeah.